don't you know that the leggings are actually that's just underwear? No. But we've made it a we've made it a style. Yes, it's, the, it's actual underwear. Oh, leggings, I didn't know that. Leggings were made to go under the dress. Oh, right. You got all these men out here. Look, look at these brothers back here. When you walk down the street, you know what they're doing, ain't they? They look. What at they you. doing? They are lusting at your behind. They just looking. You know how niggas do? They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other in Jesus Christ. We are Israelites on the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. If you ask any of these people out here when you die, do you want to go to heaven? They will all say yes. Well, there's things that need to be done in order to get there. You can't just sure. live and then die and then I'm going to heaven now. No, there's a road map. This is the road map. There's directions and things that need to be done on this, in, on this road map in order to inherit the kingdom of God. But read this real quick. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Come on, get out. Judah morning. It says Judah is in morning. Judah are the blacks here in America, scattered all over the earth. Judah is in mourning, why? Because we're in poverty. We're at the bottom of society. Right. We're the last hired, the first fired. Bring it out. We're struggling in this community, in this society. Read it again. Judah mourning. So Judah is mourning, read. And the gates thereof languish. It says the gates of Judah, they languish or they lack. We don't have proper leadership. We got Joe Biden as a, uh, as a world leader. We have Obama as a world leader. He did nothing for our people. What did Obama do for the people here in Columbia, South Carolina? What did he do for black people in general? Nothing. He passed uh, homosexual laws, that same-sex marriage. He passed that. Black people reveling in that thing, but that thing is against the Most High God in the Bible. Right. Because right. Judah is mourning. Their gates are, are language. They're lacking because we have no proper leadership. Read. They are black unto the ground. What color is Judah? They are black. Unto the ground. He says they are black unto the ground. Why? Give me uh, Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2, verse 6, right? 7. Seven. Read that. Why is Judah black unto the ground? This is only being read for a, 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 a statement of color so that you can see that you're not just black. You're more than just a black woman on the earth. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord God born man of the dust of the ground. So remember in Jeremiah it just said that Judah is black unto the ground. In this verse it says that God formed man from the dust of the ground. When you dig into the ground, what color is the ground? The dirt. It's brown. The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. Tupac had a, had a saying, darker the bear, the sweeter the juice. You know what I'm saying? We are dark of different shades of brown because God formed us from the ground. Right. Now, how does that apply to everybody else? Look at the rest of these tribes. When you look at Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, all the way down, these are your brothers and sisters. The so-called Hispanics, those are your brothers and sisters, blood brothers and sisters. When, it, when we're talking about the uh, Puerto Ricans, those are your blood brothers and sisters. The native Indians that were here, those are your blood brothers and sisters. We have the same father. That's why we are the children of Israel. That's right. So it's important to know your nationality because you want to get into the kingdom of heaven. There's things that you must do. Give me Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. There, are, there is something that must take place in our lives for us to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Because we've already been beat down. But does this last forever? You work for this place right here? Right here, on your, on your, on your that's where you work at? Yeah. How long do you want to work there? Who owns that place? You just you you you're just a servant there, right? One day you should you should you should be the owner of Crafty Cab Crab. But because of our sins, because of breaking God's commandments, our whole nation has been put into slavery. Right. This is the condition that we've been put into because we broke God's commandments. Read that. Right. 
Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. This is the biggest key for what we are doing as your brothers. To teach you sis, time is short. You got to repent and you got to learn how to repent because this place is going to be destroyed. Crafty crab is going to be destroyed. Bert. Columbia, South Carolina is going to be destroyed. Bert. This earth it's going to undertake destruction when Christ come back. Yes, right. Right. The most important thing that you can learn today is how to repent. Your nationality, that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You're not black. You're not African-American. That's not who you are. You've been lied to. We've all been lied to. Right. We've been stuck in this condition for over 400 years. Now that we're free from slavery, we walk around. We're free. How? How are we free? All the cotton your ancestors picked? All this cotton you, you your ancestors picked was prophesied to happen to us in the Bible. You can't even go to Walmart and get you a free t-shirt, even though you picked all the damn cotton. Read that again. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Destruction is at hand. Give me Matthew 11 and verse 12. Destruction is at hand. The people that have had us in servitude and slavery have devoured us as a nation. Right. But that time yeah. is coming to an end. That's why we can understand the Bible at the level and, and, and magnitude that we understand the Bible. Now Jesus. granted, many people don't believe this Bible. They say this is a white man's book. Yes, but everything in this Bible and about this Bible is black. Right. It's about our people. This was written so that we can remember who we are. Read. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. Come on. And from the days of John the Baptist, excuse me, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffer, suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Now, this is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Now, John the Baptist, was he in heaven or was he on the earth during this time? He was on the earth, right? John the Baptist is the man that walked the earth. Read that again. And from the days of John the Baptist. And from the days of John the Baptist who walked the earth, come on. Until now. Until right now during Christ's time and until this very day, come on. The kingdom of heaven. The what? Kingdom of heaven. So earth is known as what? The kingdom of heaven. But do you feel like you're in heaven right now? No, you don't feel like you're in heaven. But this heaven was given to us blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It was given to us to rule forever. But because we broke God's commandments, he said, you know what? Your heaven is now going to be your hell. I'm going to reverse the situation because I gave it to you so that you could be owners and rulers of everything on the earth. But because you broke that, now you're going to be the servants of that. Read it one more time. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, until right now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. It says that the violent take the kingdom of heaven by force. Well, if the kingdom of heaven is on the earth, who is violently taking the kingdom of heaven? Who do you think? Think about it. Who did this to your people? Who that? Don't be scared. They ain't gonna beat you up. We ain't gonna let, we ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Who did this? White man did this. Read it again. Read that last Bring one again. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. It says the kingdom of heaven, which we've already established as the earth. Hey, somebody give me that in Revelation. John saw heaven coming down. So we've already established that the kingdom of heaven is the earth, right? It says, and the violent take it by force. How did they take it by force? When they came here to this country, who was here? The so-called Indians were here. They were your brothers and sisters. They're not Indians, all right? They're Israelites too. Who took it from them? Who took this country from the Indians? The white man. The white man took this country from the Indians. Who takes everything on earth? The white man, he done took the seas, he done took over countries, he rules the world. It's the white man who takes the kingdom of heaven by force, who right. takes the earth by force. Read it. Go, go over that. Uh, no, hold that. Give me Acts chapter, hold that. Give me Acts chapter 1 verse 6. So, establishing that the kingdom of heaven is earth, and we're living in this hell. We're living in a, 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 a stupor right now. We got to get up break our backs, go to work. We don't work the fields for over 400 years in slavery and we're still working and breaking our backs in this country. You can't get nothing in this country that you rightfully deserve because of the sins of our forefathers. So 
when we ruled the earth, we didn't we didn't we didn't take it into account that most high gave it to us. Read this in Acts real quick. Acts chapter one verse six. Remember, oh. it says that that the, the I said destruction is coming hey, to this place, and we gotta repent. Read that. When they therefore were come together, uh -huh. they asked of him, saying, Lord. Wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? The kingdom to Israel. So the apostles, even the apostles, this is the apostles after Christ's death. They asked Christ, were you at this time? Because they, they thought when Christ came back, when they when Christ was there with, this, with them during this time, they thought it was over with. They thought the slavery was over with. They thought the oppression was over with. They thought the rulership of Rome and the other nations over them was over with. But it was not. Read it again. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him. They asked Christ, saying what? Saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? He said, they said, are you going to restore the kingdom, the earth, back to the Israelites? Read. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons. It's not for us to know the time or the seasons. Come on. Which the Father hath put in his own power. Which the Most High God, his Father, has put in his own power. Come on. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. He says that we're going to receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon us. These men that you see standing before you right now, we have received the power. That's the power right. to go into this Bible and to be able to show you, sister, that you're the greatest woman to walk the earth. That you're an Israelite. Right. That you are partaker of rulership on this earth beside the black man who will run this earth again. This That's is the right. mindset you that know. you got to come back to. Right. But you got to go back to Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Matter of fact, go to uh, Revelations. Get that in Revelations and read that real quick. Because everybody thinks that when we die, we're going to float off magically. We're going to get these wings that we're going to have to magically learn how to use. We got these wings and we're going to float off into the heavens somewhere. That's what you think. That's what you've been taught though, right? When you die, you're going to get you some wings and then you're going to just fly away. No, 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 no. Your, 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 your heaven is, you're standing on your heaven right now. But it's become your hell because of our sins. I'm going to show you a sin. Don't run. I'm going to show you a sin because we were all in sin. Right. But we've had to come to grips with our sin, face it, and fix it. But read this right here. Revelation chapter 21 verse 2. Come on. You know? And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Coming down. So he saw the city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Come on. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. It says prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Who is the husband? The husband is Christ. That's the husband. We're the bride. We're The, the marriage that has to take place is our repentance. We got to repent and merge ourselves back with, with, with the husbandman who is Christ. That is how we enter and get our way into the kingdom of heaven. That is going to be established and set up right here on earth. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. chapter 19. So Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. Because repentance, we've all had to go through it. We've all sinned. But you got to wake up. Waking up means understanding that you're an Israelite. That's the number one thing. Right. You're an Israelite. And if you're an Israelite, that means that there's something that you have to do according to God. We've all had to do it. Our wives had to do it. Our right. children have had to do it. Right. Because we understand what God has given us. And we understand now how to get it back. No, these people in this church, they ain't teaching them brothers on the corner right there how to get rulership back on the earth. Right. Who's in the, in the streets teaching the black man how to get rulership back on the earth? You know? right. We are shot down daily in these streets of America. But there's nobody telling us how to fix our situation. Is Joe Biden going to fix it for us? What about T.D. Jakes? 
What about crap low dollar? Are they going to fix our situation? No. It takes hard learning and teaching from your brothers to come to you on the streets and say, sis, destiny. You got to repent, sis. Right. You got to come back to God and keep the commandments. That is the number one thing. And come back as an Israelite because you can't come back as an African-American. You right. can't come back as black. That's not in here. God said, I called you to be my children and you're the Israelites according to the Bible. Read That's that. Right. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Come on. The law of the Lord is perfect. So God's laws are perfect. This is what we fell away from, from the keeping of God's laws. Read. Converting the soul. It converts our soul. What, how does it convert our soul? It converts our soul because when we used to smoke, we say, you know what? I am God on the earth. A God is not going to put the smoke into his system and defile his temple. So I'm going to put the smoke in a way. Right. All right. I used to be a murderer. I ain't going to kill no more. Right. I'm not going to harm my brothers and sisters no more because God says this is how I'm supposed to live. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. It says his testimonies are sure, Destiny. Come on. Making wise the simple. It said it makes the simple-minded wise. How are we simple-minded? You look behind you. This is simpleness right here. What is the use of standing on the church corner? What are we profiting from from the church corner? Nothing. We are wallowing in our sins. We are continuing to further ourselves in the stupor, in this darkness that we've been walking in for over 400 years. Right. This is perpetuating the cycle. How do we come out of the cycle? Give me uh, Kings, First Kings chapter eight. How do we come out of this thing? You know, what does it take for us to, to as, a, as a nation to come back on one accord with each other, to love one another? Read this. First Kings chapter eight, verse 46. Read. If they sin against thee. If they sin against the most out, did we sin against him? Yes, that's why we're in slavery. That's why you got to work for Crafty Crab. Brother got to work for Jim Joe's. Brother got to work for Best Buy. Brother got to work here, got to work there. Because we sinned. Before that, it wasn't no work. It was the other nations doing the work. Right. Because we were the we, we, we were the higher class. Right. Now today, we are the lower class. Read. For there is no man that sinneth not. There is no man that hasn't sinned against God. Read. And thou be angry with them. And God was angry with, the, with us. And deliver them to the enemy. And he delivered us to the enemy. Right here. This is us being delivered to the enemy. This is how we got delivered to the enemy. Read. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. They carried us away captive. You see that? They carried us away captive to their land, far and near Jerusalem. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. But he says, yet, yet, destiny, if you bethink yourself. What does the word bethink mean? What do you think it be think? If I said be think yesterday, what does that mean? Remember. Remember yesterday. Read that part again. Yet, if they shall but think themselves. Yet, if they shall remember themselves. Remember that they are the children of Israel. Remember that they are my chosen people. Read. In the land where they were carried captive. In these lands where we were carried captive right here in America, in Columbia, South Carolina. Read. And repent. And do what? Repent. And repent, meaning change our ways, change our minds, convert our souls. Read. And make supplication unto thee. Make supplication means send prayers up to the Most High fervently. I'm sorry. I didn't know that I was an Israelite. I didn't know that this is how I was supposed to live according to the, according to the Bible. Right. Pastor ain't teach it. Right. Mama ain't teach it. Grandma ain't teach it. Right. I didn't know. Read. In the land of them that carried them captive. We got to do that in the land where we were carried captive right here. Come on. Saying, we have sinned. Saying what? We have sinned. We have sinned. Not just you. We have sinned. We, as a nation of people, we yes. have sinned. Read. And have done perversely. We've done perverse things. Clubbing on Friday night, getting naked in the club, that is perverseness. Bring it up. Two men banging one sister, perverseness. One woman with two men, but we've done perverse things. Right. We've defiled everything holy about what the Most High God has given us. Read. We have committed wickedness. We have committed much wickedness, murder, robbing, stealing, killing one another. Read. And so, return unto thee. But we must return unto him, read. With all their heart. With all our heart. Your and heart is your mind, read. And with all their soul. And with all our soul, with all our might, come on. In the land of their enemies, which led them away captive. It says we gotta do this in the land of our enemies, which carried us captive. Well, who brought us captive here? Are we in the land of our enemies right now? Yes, we are in the land of our enemies right now. It says we must do this in the land of our enemies, read. 
and pray unto thee uh -huh. toward their land. We got to pray toward our land, which is Jerusalem. Our land is Jerusalem because if I ask you, Destiny, what do you think our land is? What would you say? Africa. You say Africa. <laughs> Most people say Africa. But guess what? Jerusalem is a part of Africa. It's just in the uh, upper parts of it. And they got the Suez Canal running through it now. They built a river through. They built a canal through the land so that they could say, oh, that's the Middle East. There's no such thing as the Middle East. Bring it up. That's Where's the Middle North at then? Where's the Middle West? Why that don't exist? There's a Middle East, right? Lie. That's another lie. It's not a Middle East. That is a part of the same continent which is known today as Africa. That's right. where you're from. That's your motherland. That's your true motherland. Get right. that. That's your true motherland. Africa is not the place that, that when you ask African Americans or black people, what's your, what's your motherland? Oh, Africa. Or oh, which damn part? Because that's a big ass country. Read that. Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem. Which is above is free. It's above all lands. Jerusalem is above all lands and it's free. Come on. Which is the mother of us all. That's the mother of us all. So go back to uh, 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 Kings. It says that we must pray toward our land, which is Jerusalem. Come on. And pray unto thee toward their land, uh -huh. which thou gavest unto their fathers. So he gave that land to our forefathers. But what did we do? What did we do in the land? We sinned against God. And therefore, the curses of Deuteronomy, which are on that flyer, had to come against us. We sinned against the Most High God. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Because destiny. Now I want to ask you a new question. Uh, the same question. What is your nationality? American, black American. Nope. Look at it again. Judah. Judah. That's your nationality. It feels funny saying that, right? Yeah. Judah. Like, Judah? Yes. Sister, you are from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's, That's right. who you are. This is the greatest. This is right here. This is the top tribe. That's why it's at the top. That's right. You know who comes from this tribe? Get that. You know who comes from here? Who, who, who comes from this tribe right here? Take a guess. Oh, let's see. Read that. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Come on. Wait up. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. You know what the Bible says? It says there's evidence that our Lord, who is Jesus Christ, spring out of the tribe of Judah. So that means that you have the same blood running in you that runs through Jesus Christ. That's right. You ain't never heard that. You ain't never heard that in church. Even though they say we washed and saved by the blood of Jesus. They don't know what the hell they talking about up in there. Right. You know? To be washed by the blood of Jesus, you, you must be keeping these commandments. Right. That's the only thing that can cleanse you. Getting dumped in the water, that's nothing. Bro. You ain't washed because you jumped. You, you took a bath last night, but did you commit a sin today? Right. I mean, that's a question. You took a bath last night, right? But have you sinned again today? So the water don't make you clean, do it? What makes you clean? Changing your mind. Get that in Peter. Get that in Peter. Get that in Peter real quick. You know what that? That's right. Get that in Peter real quick. This is how... This is how you cleanse yourself. This is what makes you clean. Not just, oh, I'm going to the church today and I'm gonna get dumped in the water. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna be my sins will be washed away. That is a lot. You can go right in that church right now and dump, jump right in that nasty water that they got sitting in there. That's been probably sitting in there for the last five years. And you're gonna get out of that water and still not understand your sins. Read. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. Come on. As newborn babes. Desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. So it says that you must, like newborn babes, because today you're destined. You're becoming a new creature. Today. This is how you get reborn. You're reborn when you now know that. I know you're looking for your bus. I want you to listen. You become reborn because you don't, now you know that you're not just black or American black. That you're an, actually, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Today, you're, re, you're being reborn. Read. Read that again. As newborn babes. As newborn babes, Destiny. Desire the sincere milk of the word. What, are, what do newborn babes need to survive? Milk, right? They need milk. So you need milk. Read. That ye may grow thereby. So the milk allows you to grow. The milk is the keeping of God's commandments. I'm going to show you a commandment that is milk that you can keep. Uh, matter of fact, Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Because I asked yep. you, did you sin today? Now, a lot of our women are in sin today on the same thing. 
and like you, a lot of them don't even know it. But I'm gonna show you something, all right? Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five. Most yeah. women run and get an attitude when they hit us, but I'm gonna show you the logic in it. Read. The woman, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So what are we talking about here? Articles of clothing, right? Now read it again. The woman. We're going to deal with the woman. Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says a woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do you think that's talking about? Yeah, what are men's clothes? Sweat, what? Pants, period. Because pants were not instituted. We go. Like, Sasha got on the dress, she's an older woman. Pants were instituted for men. Today, our women wear pants, they have no clue that these pants are not, they're not supposed to put on pants. But the same people that put us in this captivity, that put us in this oppression, they the one that gave us, the, gave you the pants. So now our women think, oh, these women's pants. But today, we go further than pants. Like what you have on now, which are what, leggings, right? Don't you know that the leggings are actually, that's just underwear? Bring it out. But we've made it a, we've made it a style. Yes, yeah, sister, it's actual underwear. Oh, leggings, I didn't know that. Leggings were made to go under the dress. Oh, right. They were made to go under, like y'all, y'all supposed to be merged right now. Your leggings <laughs> supposed to be under the dress. Your, her dress is supposed to be over the leggings to cover your body. Give me that Timothy, I'll be modest. Because why? You got all these men out here. Look, look at these brothers back here. When you walk down the street, you know what they're doing, ain't it? They what they doing? You. They are lusting at your behind. They just looking. You know how niggas do? Right. Be black people. You know how black people do? Look, 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 look. <laughs> That's why God said what? Read this. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. Come on. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So God says, sister, you a princess. Adorn yourself in modest apparel. You want to get married one day? When you get married, what you going to wear that day? A dress. You gonna, what you going to wear? Why? Why you going to wear a dress that day? Because you're going to be what? You're going to be pretty. You're going you, you gonna, you gonna to feel, feel the most, like you the most beautifulest. Yes, I said beautifulest. Beautifulest woman on the earth, right? So you're going to wear a dress that day. Why can't you feel that and be that every day? That's what God's telling you. The way that you think you're going to feel on the day that you get married, that is how you should feel every day. Right. Because you're a princess. Sisters are princess. That's why God said, adorn yourself in modest apparel. Go back to Deuteronomy. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it's, that's why God said, don't wear that because the pants, they put spirits on our women. Now the women walk, they, 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 they like dudes nowadays. It's the pants. <laughs> if they take the pants off, they will feel more feminine. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And it's the same thing for these men that's running around wearing skilts or what do they call it? Kilt. Dresses Kilt. and skirts and yeah, yeah. and God said don't do that. God said don't do that thing. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. He says all that do so are an abomination. An abomination is a filthy, vile thing. You become filthy in the eyes of God. Vile. You don't want that. All right? So take the, take your flyer. There's an address. We got a school right around the corner full of sisters. You can come and get with these sisters and learn your true nationality. Learn who you are. Learn how you're supposed to walk before Christ comes and destroy this place. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.